Doopy 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 doop 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 do. Okay, okay. Well, good morning from a very misty and a very damp Padley Gorge in the Peak District. Now, today I've come out with Robin and we were planning to shoot Higator at sunrise, but as you can see, there's going to be no sunrise today. And it's very, very damp, so I've not even brought my main camera out with me yet. I've left it up in the car. I'm going to recce the area, though, using my little compact camera and just see if I can line up any possible shots for later. Interestingly, it's actually the shortest day of the year today, the 21st of December. And we were here last year on the 20th of December, exactly the same location. Um, I've even got the same hat and the same coat on, so there's coordination for you, and that's, that's dedication, I think. Unfortunately, conditions aren't as good as last year. Uh, it was lovely and frosty and cold, and it's a bit murky today. And I brought the large format camera, which doesn't really like rain. So I think a, a cafe is in order. And if the weather does dry up slightly, I'll be back down here shooting some black and white. Uh, well, I've been scouting round now for about an hour and a half, so considerable amount of time and effort has gone into uh, looking for possible compositions. Now, I've come back to the car because I have spotted two compositions I'd like to shoot, and I'm going to get my gear together and head off back down to the gorge. Okay, first composition of the day, in the bag now. Let me just talk you through what I've done here. I have my standard 150mm Nikkor on my Intrepid 4x5. Now, I scouted this area before using my little Panasonic LX5. I'll show you some of the images now that I took before I actually set the camera up to see the sort of train of thought I had. So what I've done is I've set the camera up with the anticipation of a crop. 2 to 1, 16 to 9. I don't want the sky in there. I don't want too much foreground. So I'm going to crop that later. Now it looked good in both colour and black and white, so I've shot it with Ektar and FP4+. Plus. Six seconds for the Ektar, ten seconds for the FP4+. Plus. Get them processed and I'm sure this is going to make quite a dramatic yet simple image.
Now for this image, I've also used my standard 150mm Nikkor. I've lined myself up on the stream with a set of trees to the right and some colour left over from the autumn. Now that little bit of colour makes all the difference, it'll just lift the scene. Shot at f22 with a little bit of front fall just to bring everything into the plane of focus. Now I'm using Ektar again and also fp4. It looks good in both black and white and colour and I'll show you again on the little LX5 what I mean when I came to approach this composition and saw it from different angles, shooting it in different aspect ratios until I finally chose the composition I've got here, which is a portrait crop. Well, we're back out again after a very nice snack, bacon butty, and we've come to the surprise view, which is in between Higator and Padley Gorge. Now, hopefully, as you can see behind me, it's, uh, it's very misty, very damp, very atmospheric. Sadly, it's raining a little bit as well, so that's going to stop me using my large format camera, but if it does ease off, I could get some amazing views through these trees. Well, despite the awful conditions, uh, the drizzle, the mizzle, uh, the dampness, I've managed to set up and actually take an image of these lovely old millstones behind me. There's two of them, and I've managed to get them both in the image by using my widest lens, the 90mm Fujinon. I've used it in a vertical composition, and I have to use a little bit of front tilt, so hopefully I've got everything in focus at f22. I'll only really know, though, when I actually develop the films, because it's very, very difficult to see through the ground glass on a day like today.